This is a 10kd setup by a 10kd player. Seriously, look at these stats. When you throw on these five attachments, it turns this weapon into a literal god. Nobody will be outgunning you, so if you want the MGP, this is the perfect setup to use. By the way, look at this view. Like, oh my days. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here is the TAC 56 with no attachments on the gun. You guys will see overall mobility is pretty, pretty good. Recoil is like almost non-existent. We got a lot of visual recoil, but it is very, very easy to control. Like, this weapon out of the box is amazing. With that said, a great way to make this weapon just a little bit better, and this might seem similar to my similar to my other setups, but it is a little bit different. So the attachment I recommend you guys to add is going to be a barrel. You want to add the Tundra Pro barrel. Previously, I wouldn't always run a barrel on the weapon, but the barrel I noticed it really, really helps it out. And all the pros in the professional league, they all run a barrel, so that kind of tells you something. So this barrel is going to increase the overall firepower of the weapon. I believe it increases the damage range by 30%, which is awesome. With that said, you want to bring this to the max. You want to increase that damage range. Now I think you get like about 35% more for the bar on the left because you guys could see there was a lot of visual recoil and it did shake a little bit left to right. So you want to increase the recoil steadiness, which is going to reduce the horizontal recoil. Just so you guys know, this isn't based on a linear scale. I know I say that a lot, but I've been getting comments saying it is based on a linear scale. Watch the recoil control when I increase this. You guys will see it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then okay, it actually this time that wasn't the best example right here. You guys can see it's going up and down, proving that this is not on a linear scale. For the next attachment, you want to go over to the stock. So you guys got two different options. So previously, we would run the Cardinal stock because it makes the weapon very, very like mobile, feels very light. Plus, we're only losing aiming stability, making this probably the best stock. But I want to mix the class setup. And this stock, the X-Line Pro, is actually super, super good. With this stock, you're getting an increase to your ADS speed, allowing you to rush a little bit more. You're not getting as much stray speed as the Cardinal gives you, but you get a lot more ADS. Although, we are losing a little bit of our recoil control. But you guys will see in the gameplay, I'm completely beaming everyone. Before the tuning on here, because this weapon already has a pretty good aim and idle stability, we don't really need more of that. We're going to increree the stray speed, allowing us to get more rotational aim assist and you're a harder target to hit. For the bar on the left, the aim walking status honestly doesn't matter. The weapon's already pretty stable and the ADS speed is way more important, so you want to increase it to negative 3.1. So if we go into the firing range, you guys will see this weapon is a little bit slower, but it's still very snappy and we are going to be using one more attachment to make it feel a little bit snappier, but let's test out the recoil control. Very, very, very little recoil. Like, oh my days. Look at this straight speed. This is like the straight speed that you get with the Cardinal. This actually might be a little bit better. Since this weapon, when we were testing now, it didn't have the most amount of mobility. So we're going to be adding the clean shot grip, which is going to add the mobility back. We are losing a little bit of our recoil control, but there really isn't that much recoil on the weapon. And so it shouldn't really matter. And then for the tuning on here, bring up the ADS speed and then increase the sprint to fire speed. Across the board, every single gun has a low sprint to fire speed. So it's very crucial that you increase this value. And just so you guys know, this is the perfect tuning. If you have a mouse, plug it in. Way, way easier to tune with your mouse. You can get the exact precise value. Say you're just using a controller. A great way to make it a little bit easier to tune is to go into your... Oh, look at that. What was it doing? It was moving by itself. Go into your controller settings. You want to tab down all the way to the dead zone area, which is on the advanced area. You want to take a picture of them and then you want to go over and you want to increase the left stick value to like 20. So now it's going to take more movement for it to actually register on your controller. Pretty much you got to move this more for it to register, which the purpose of the dead zones is to pretty much reduce the idle sway. If you set your controller down, your your aim might like start drifting. When you increase this, it makes it so it doesn't drift, but you don't want to have it too high. And so that's why you want to take a picture and then bring it back once you're done, which is honestly stupid that you have to do this. Just make it so we can use our D-pad. That would be so helpful. For the next attachment, you guys want to add the shark fin 90. I'll give you guys another variation, like another attachment that you guys can use after I give you the full build, but I recommend running the shark fin 90. This is going to add a lot of aiming idle stability and if you didn't know your gun actually continues to sway in the gunfight previous call of duties it did not do that so if your weapon has a lot of sway that means there's going to be a lot of unpredictable random recoil on your weapon and you do not want that for the tuning you want to increase the recoil stabilization we could increase ads but i think it's already good now i'd rather have a little bit less horizontal for the bar on the left i think the aim walking speed is already pretty good we want to increase the aiming stability because i think one of the other attachments is bringing it back down finally for the last attachment so this is also a personal on preference thing. You don't really need a suppressor, but if you want to run a suppressor, run the Ecoline GSX. We are losing damage range, but with the barrel, we tuned it for more damage range, and so you shouldn't really notice that much. You should only notice like the little bit of recoil control and how quiet your weapon is, which I don't really like the suppressors in the game because your gun's actually still very, very loud with the suppressor, and search and destroy helps, but it doesn't really help in the regular um, game modes. So another great attachment to add is going to be the X10 Havoc, and then you just want to reduce the horizontal recoil and then, I mean, reduce the gun kick control. 
rule, which should be at these valleys. And so if we go into the firing range, you guys will see this weapon is a little bit slow. So I don't really care for this setup. I actually usually don't even run a muzzle. Recoil though, very, very easy to control. Like if you're struggling to control recoil, use this setup and it'll be just so easy to use. Here is the class setup that we were running in the game plan, just in case you guys want to take some pictures. And I will be going over another very good setup. So if I were, oh my God, it moved. So if I were you, I would stay tuned for that build and there's the last one. So another great build for the weapon is actually just to take off this muzzle and then you can add the armor piercing rounds to it for the damage range in bolt velocity. So now your gun has about 5-10% to more damage range and you have FMJ built in which helps for wall banging the enemies. What you guys could also do is add an optic. The optic I recommend is going to be the Corona Mini Pro. Increase the flinch resistance, make it a little bit easier to stay on target and then make it a little bit farther away. Which honestly might make it a little bit harder to use just because it does make everything smaller but you do have more FOV and so less visual recoil say it is a little bit too far, I would just find your personal preference or just keep it at zero. Lastly, what you guys could also do, actually, if you're playing on shipping, you might want to run the 40 round mag or the 60 round so you don't have to reload as often, or you can run the uh, the FSS OLE laser, which this adds so many pros to the weapon. You get a lot of mobility and then you get a lot of aiming stability. So now this weapon really isn't swaying at all. And since it's not swaying at all, you could honestly take off the shark fin, add something else if you want. For me, I would probably run the armor piercing. This is another great build if you don't mind the laser on your weapon. With all that said, I hope you guys do enjoy the nasty MGP gameplay. See if I get the nuke. If I get the nuke, boys, you guys will all be on YouTube. I'll put the chat up when, when we go to call on the nuke. Is that an orgy over there? What the hell are they doing? One was crouching, one was standing. I just ruined your day. Dude, this game is so similar to Escape from Tarkov. It's like the same thing, basically. Dude, I want to play customs. Wreck them. I do too. But I got to have the donation bar fill up when I have it listed as that. Just because... Um, the stream goes way, way down when we do customs. Like, it goes really far down. Oh my god, that was so close. I got two dudes around me. Let's get his boyfriend. Oh, the boyfriend didn't kill me this time. I have seven shots. I'll get out of my game, you freaking loser. This guy's for sure playing. He's just weird. Boom, let's call this helo. We're going to go over here and the fish is going to clap him in the back. His back was blown up by a fish. Imagine that. I got busted on by Jesus. Oh my God, twice. Hello. Easy? Okay, boys, we just need nine more kills. Nine more. Oh, we missed some shots. We're so bad, boys. We're so bad. John G, message? Okay. John G, if you're in here, congrats, dude. You won the $20. If you're watching this from the YouTube video, I do giveaways. I'm going to do one once a week for $10. In the Discord, we do different challenges. No way! Dude, that was EOM. I shouldn't have died. Okay, if we did it once, we can do it again easily. But just join the Discord and we do a giveaway here and there. Oh, yeah, Macho. Okay, Macho, you can't say that though and not do it. Because we will ban you. Just because there's a lot of people that say that stuff and it gets annoying after a while. Dude, this setup is actually golden. The UAV, now I know exactly where they're coming from. Boys, you gotta lock it in, you know? Lock it in.
Is there multiple guys in here? Ew! What are you guys doing? Jesus! That was gross. That man is not a real player. There's no way he's real. Do you see that? There was actually no recoil in this setup. Disgusting. Exactly like Escape from Tarkov. Identical. This game's actually harder. Obviously, you see that player? Top left, top left. Dude, I, re I went to go rechat, and then right when I read chat, I got challenged. Maybe I just need to rechat in like the, the right area. You don't even know what the difference between up and down is. That's Papa Daddy now they can't really hear us. This guy flexing on you? What does that even mean? I didn't like that at all because I didn't want to get sideswiped by like a random sniper. Like when I peeked this. Oh my god! I was right! What are you doing? You're weird. You're so weird and ugly. I smell you across the map. And fish can't even smell. Hopefully they don't predict me to come over here. He's predicting me. Sardines. MGB, let's go! Oh my god! Let's freaking go with the MGB. Oh my god, they're lions. We gotta nuke the lions, boys. Is there whales too? Oh, there's whales. Well. Wow. Yeah, I'll call it in at 240. This is gonna be tomorrow's video. MGB, let's go, boys! Easy dubs! <laughs> Ain't no smell, dude, Pete. I agree. This shit's stinky. I don't even know why. Oh, what is that guy? That guy's even worse. He probably is the anal. Okay, boys, we're dropping a nuke in the rectum. Let's go. Easy motherfucking nukes. Oh my god. Let's go. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many kills. 75 and 5. Let's go.